Hello, hello. Hi Rex, how are you doing? I'm good, and you? I'm I hope fine. I pronounced the name right. Yeah, you try. Okay. Right. Good. I'm here with your 23.3 questions. Are you ready? Okay, shoot. Okay. Um, how's your morning routine usually like? Uh, so the first thing I do in the morning is brush my teeth. It's very funny. Immediately <laughs> I wake up. Then I read my Bible. Okay. I pray. Then no breakfast. I go out. I'm not, no a morning, I'm not a breakfast person yet. Okay. <laughs> then I need to come for your breakfast sometimes. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> what excites you the most about the future in tech? Uh, hmm, tough one. Robots. <laughs> yeah, I look forward to the time when we'll be allowed to be lazy and just allow robots to do all our work. Oh, that would be yeah. exciting. I know, right? What's the best and worst thing about being a CEO? Oh, best thing is network. So you get to meet lots of great people. And yeah, of course, see? Then worst thing, I'll say worst thing will be, um, so I'll give an example. Taking responsibility for things that um, might not necessarily be your fault. Mm, okay. Yeah, so you just have to be responsible for anything that happens. Mm. Exactly. Good to know. I one day when I grow up, I'll be like you and be a CEO. <laughs> <laughs> Careful what you ask for. <laughs> Describe your hometown in three words. Mm, my hometown, family, very important. Um, food. Allow me to put good. Good, I think food. <laughs> so good food. Yes. Then last one would be bad people so I can explain <laughs> so while we're growing up they always tell us um, we don't go to the village regularly it's, it's not a village it's a town we don't go to the town regularly because they are bad people okay. and they can do something or witches and stuff like that so I'll say food family and bad people hmm, that's good to know <laughs> where is this hometown oh uh, so my hometown is called Ozoro is in Delta State in Nigeria Ozoro Ozoro, Ozoro. <laughs> what does it mean I, I, I really don't know. <laughs> I okay. really don't know. Describe yourself well, in three words. Uh, so I would say I'm smart. Mm -hmm. I've been hearing that a lot. Yeah, yeah since I was growing up. <laughs> so funny thing is I'm shy. Most people don't know. Then I am a... Oh, the last one. Uh, I'm stubborn. Mm. Well, I use it for the good side, that's the bad side of it, <laughs> but I'm stubborn. For the good <laughs> okay, that's good to know. Yeah. Why codeling? When what has the journey been like? Um, so codeling because um, I would say I'm passionate about um, helping software engineers. So I'm a software engineer. I know what it means to find a job that a job that befits your like we say dream jobs, right? Yep. So I would say from my personally, I feel that learning to code is really hard and um, anyone that has gone through the stress of learning to code deserves the job that he wants so deserves his dream job so that's the idea behind um, coding why I started it that's yeah. nice and noble <laughs> thanks <laughs> thank for doing you. that for the developer community here <laughs> anyway, thank you are you musical do you sing you oh, seem no, to have no, a great no, voice no, no, no. so here's the thing right People hear me speak and they are like, oh, you have a lovely voice. Like people even tell me over the phone when they've not seen me. <laughs> what if I sing for you? Uh, Would you want to try sing for us? No, 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 please, <laughs> let's not do this. Okay. What's one thing many people don't know about you? I said it before, I'm a shy person. So I tend to do a very good job covering that up. But I think you are doing a good job <laughs> I know, right? as a public speaker. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's, it's something you have to work on. But it's something I've been working on so far since I was growing up. Well, yeah, it's still there, in there somewhere. <laughs> somewhere? Yeah. Okay. It's still I'm there. glad it's not showing up here at this point. No, 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 not this one. <laughs> I love camera, so don't worry. <laughs> okay, yeah. Climate change is not true. Change my mind. Hmm. So I don't know so much about this climate thing, but when people say there will come a time when maybe the clouds will not be there and because there's so much, um, what's it called, trash entering into the system, some things will not be available. I really don't believe it. I, I mean, I believe that God made everything available for eternity, right? So it's supposed to be available till there's no earth again. So I don't believe there will be any time like that. I don't know, but I don't believe that will ha be happening soon. Mm. <laughs> Maybe you didn't manage to change my mind, <laughs> but we'll take that. Okay, okay. Well, to attract and retain talent, um, what one thing should employers do or be aware of? 
That one is very simple. Pay well. <laughs> like <laughs> securing the bag, eh? Yes, yes. Because people want job security, you know, and um like when companies come and they're like we want to see the vision we want them to understand the vision we want to, sometimes people just want money yeah. right and generally speaking if i understand the vision of what you are doing does not mean that i should not feed myself or feed my family so first things first you have to pay them where to live a comfortable life because if you are not comfortable you can't think to even yeah. in my own field like start coding it won't work so pay them well and forget the vision they will share your vision and every other <laughs> thing just feel well. Yeah. That is great to know. For them to have a comfortable Thank life. Thank you I mean. for your words so sweet on that. Yes. yes. <laughs> they have to do it. <laughs> Here's a weird question. Okay. Which would you want to know? When you will die or how you will die? Okay, so the when I will die, I already know. <laughs> 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 because I have to live very long. <laughs> So I'm estimating 90-ish, 100-ish. Okay. Yes, but I'll still be strong. I won't be poo-pooing on my body or things like that. So the how, I really, I really wish I could influence that because I want to have, I would like to, my death to be, like I just sleep and don't wake up. I don't want to have cancer, all of this very, very <laughs> okay. yeah. kind of disease. I don't think yeah. anybody wants that. So I want to know how. How? Yes. If you know, what and would God, you please, if you are listening, let me just sleep and then we go. <laughs> That's the best, simplest way to die. <laughs> well, yeah. Are you single? Ah, uh, I'll let the finger speak. Okay. <laughs> I'm good single. to know. <laughs> really good to know. Why is it good to know? <laughs> well, we'll tell you off camera. <laughs> <laughs> Can you tell okay. us a bit more about the new Codeline? marketplace ah, okay so we recently launched our marketplace um, last month um, on the 25th precisely so the reason or the idea behind that is for the clients to enable them get access to profiles or very qualified software engineers fast like um, quicker to reduce the recruitment time for them and for the um, software engineers, what we are trying to do is to sh grant exposure to their profiles, right? We want people out there to know that, okay, um, there's talent in Africa. So it's our vision as a company to become the global go-to marketplace for um, African software engineers, right? So we are pushing, putting our talents out there, letting the world know that, yes, there's tech talent Which here we in did. Africa. Yeah, exactly, <laughs> you know, we did. Very necessary. <laughs> mm -hmm. Describe Ghana and Nigeria tech community in three words. So Ghana mm -hmm. and then Nigeria. Together or six? Separately. Ah, okay. Um, so for Ghana, the tech community is growing. I would say it's growing. It's, there's potential. Um, so growth potential and um, um, what's the third one? Prospects. Potential and prospects. They're kind of like the same thing. Yeah. I think, yeah. So for Nigeria, it's more active in Nigeria, though, because I think we started a bit longer before um, Ghana picked up. So I would say proactive, okay. definitely potential. Then, ah, there's too much happening. It's very busy. <laughs> like <laughs> almost every weekend, busy. exactly, yeah. there's events. And the funny thing is sometimes, um not all the like as a software engineer you might get confused so yeah. you need to know what you should be going for so that you don't there yeah there are lots of yeah. events happening yes what, what makes you the angriest ah what makes me it's not a what is who hey my sisters hmm. Those people <laughs> can't <push It's> me. <laughs> they are okay. the only ones that know how to i mean in a good way that know how to make me hang so a typical example you tell my sister I try the one that's immediately older than like my immediate elder sister. Don't wear my shoes. <laughs> Very simple instruction. Though. And then I travel and come back. And no, I, I travel and I'm, for example, in Ghana. And I see her. That of respect. She wears the shoes and she takes the picture and puts it on her WhatsApp status. Yeah. Like, so, I mean, little things like don't wear my shoes, don't do this, don't use my stuff because I like my things. Don't use my stuff and they go ahead and you. So, it, I think it's them. They, they have it, they know how to annoy me, mm -hmm. but I easily don't get annoyed. That's the funny thing. So, it mm -hmm. takes That's a good. lot to make me. It's good not to, to be angry. angry. I know, yeah. right? <laughs> <laughs> what advice would you give your 15 year old self? Oh, young Elo. Um, what will I give myself? I would say, take risk because while I was young I, I think 
pretty much um, childish slash teenagehood. I've, I've been a very careful person. So I believe, I mean, there's the dangerous part to taking risk though, as a kid, but I'll say take risk more, like be more proactive because okay. I started overcoming my shyness while I was growing up. So yeah, I'll say take risk more. <coughs> I'll, I'll keep that in mind for my 15-year-old self, too. <laughs> How many languages do you speak? Mm. So if pidgin counts, yes. I'll say pidgin is what counts, yes. right? So I speak pidgin, of course, English. Then I've been struggling to learn French for a long time now. This is not just entering, I don't know why. But I know the little bonjour, bonsoir, and stuff like that. So I have a French co-founder, so okay. he's encouraging <laughs> me. <laughs> Yeah, so yeah, I'll say just English and pigeon. Let's let's just stick to what we know. <laughs> okay. Now yeah. the follow up to that is you're gonna tell us a proven mm -hmm. in all of them. In all of them. Yeah. Ah. English. Ah, what's the most common proverb in English <laughs> now? Um Okay, let's do pigeon first. Yes. So there's this pigeon, Nigerian pigeon. Mm -hmm. The pigeons is it says um one day, one day. Breeze go blow, fire on ash go open. <laughs> so let me explain what it means. It means, um, so it means like um, one day, um, bad people are going to be exposed. Mm -hmm. That's the simplest way I can explain okay. it. So people, if you are doing evil now, just be oh yeah, exactly. Your time okay. will come when uh, you'll be exposed. So be careful of what you okay. do. Then English. Um, Huh. What's the most common one? What an adult sees. I can't believe I can remember. What an adult sees standing on a tree. <laughs> the kid does not see. <laughs> okay, I don't have an English proverb. Oh, I'll use mine. I have mine. So I have a common proverb. Okay. Say a proverb that says, have a line of codes to your name. So most people really don't understand what it means. So for me, it means. Um, what I'm trying to tell for software engineers is ensure you have projects to your name because most times as a software engineer you might just be um, engrossed in working for your employer like building stuff and for some of them you, your work is being kept in a private repo right mm -hmm. so like ensure that the world knows that you have potential so use github a lot work on projects work on open source project ensure that you have projects to your name not just for your employer yeah. so that you can add to your portfolio so and that's what it means yes, yes. Exactly. that's good mm. Fashion time. What's your favorite oh fashion trend of all time? Ah, I don't think I'm a very fashionable person, but um, I think I'm just a t-shirt and <laughs> no, I'm not like Mark. Yeah, but I like beauty pageants. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I love watching them. But back in the days, though, yeah. Well, I mean, I, I like looking good. Let's put it that I know how to combine my colors. The the fashion um, pageant. Have you? wanted to be part of before? Oh, so I've received a lot of invitations, ah. even while I was in secondary school. But it's not really my thing, okay. as much as I love cameras and attention mm. and stuff like that. But like Good to know. <laughs> tea versus coffee? Oh, tea. Definitely tea. I love tea. Apart from your home country, stay in one African country for the rest of your life. Which mm. one would it be? I'm hoping you say Ghana. <laughs> I've stayed in Ghana. <laughs> I mean, this is my, I think it's going to three years now mm -hmm. since I've been in and out. But it won't be Ghana, sorry to disappoint okay. <laughs> So, one country that I think I've admired is Mauritius. Mm -hmm. I don't know if I'm pronouncing it well yeah. because it's beautiful and it's on an island and yeah. every other thing. So, and then again, there's this happiness report that they do month, um, yearly. Mauritius is always or top. mostly at the top, yes. African country, the most happiest African country. So I want to be happy. Okay. I want it to rub off for me. <laughs> to know. Yeah. Ghana versus Nigeria, the Jollof War. Ah. Pick one. If you want them to send me home. <laughs> um, of course. It's home food is good. Home food is good. <laughs> are yeah, you sure I you're not being biased? I'm not, no, I'm not. Okay. And even the Jollof self, they are different. There's party Jollof. The Jello yeah, has I mean grades. The average Nigerian Jello versus the average guy. You have to be specific. Nigerian party Jello. No. <laughs> average Nigerian. Okay, Nigeria. Okay. Okay. I'm, I'm sure that Ghana folks will come for you. Ah, no, no, no. I love Ghana Jello. I love it too. <laughs> What's your favorite programming language? 
Ah, Python. Mm. Python is my first love. Okay. I started with Python. So Python. What's one thing your friends don't like about you? Hmm. Let's see if there's any one of them we can <laughs> ask. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Maybe so we yeah. can ask your co-founder. <laughs> uh, <laughs> let me answer that one. Yes. Okay, so I'll say generally my friends so I'm not someone that shows a lot of emotion. Like I'm the kind of person that feels it but I might not show it. Even like to give hugs, I, I barely give hugs except okay. I want to. And I will not express myself a lot of so, oh I miss you, things like that, but I really, really miss you, like okay. deep down. But I don't like saying this thing. So I, I don't think they like that so much. Okay. Mm. Good to know. <laughs> I'm sure your friends are watching. They'll definitely <laughs> keep that in mind. Yeah, right. What's one thing you can't live without? Live without? Uh, of course, God. God created me. But very important. Food. I love food. Food. <laughs> I cannot live without food. And not just food, but good food. Okay. So yes, food. Like food. Ghana Jalop. Yes, like Ghana Jalop. <laughs> well, what advice do you have for anyone who looks up to you? You're a role model to many people, so oh, really? any advice for them? <laughs> um, so I would say be a go-getter, very important. If you, you know what you want, go for it. Don't hold back, take risk, but be, be proactive, very important. Like you have to go for what you want. Like you will never, you will never know if you, you will get it if you don't go for it. So I would say be a go-getter, yeah. And this is your last 23.3 question. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Any specific targets you have set for 2020? Hmm. 2020. Ah, that's like less than two weeks from now. Yeah, pretty oh. almost here. I know, right? So every year, or at the end of every year, I always set my goals and plans, but I don't think I hit up to 80%. So maybe my target would be to achieve a hundred percent on the goals and targets I've set for myself, then people have been telling me to get married. So I think I'll put it there somewhere. Oh, okay. <laughs> we'll squeeze it somewhere. Let's squeeze the, it in there yes, somewhere. I'll see what happens next. Operation 2020. <laughs> well, thank Hi, you everyone. so much, um, Eloho, for spending time with us. Thank definitely you. Definitely enjoyed speaking to you. And we'll definitely <laughs> come your way with more 23.3 questions some other time. Okay, thanks, Eloho. Bye. -bye. <laughs>